hot wifing outside of its generic term is really a an experience that both the husband and wife get to enjoy separately but end up together right and for us it's it's so hot for me to see her you know like the hottest thing ever is for her to just take home a random stranger bang him and you know make his year and she has a blast doing it it's not just for me it's also for her and she comes home that night and tells me all about it or shows me pictures or you know shows me a video and we get to experience re-experience it together and then as a result of that we are so infinitely sexually charged that we're able to you know roll into the best sex of of the week mm-hmm. and it's just such a an adrenaline fueled scenario that has so many so many peaks to it that you know from the moment she leaves the house you know you're just you're nervous you're energized you're excited you have every thought and idea going through your mind if you're comfortable with it if you're yeah. not comfortable you're you know crying in a closet <laughs> but because of her and I, then it's just called cheating yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> yeah that's just that's just cheating so because of our communication and the way our relationship began and continued to grow there's so much communication comfort and and uh trust that anything and everything can be fun and we never you know put ourselves in a situation that it can go wrong um i couldn't imagine that ever happening but it's emotional maturity i think you know it, but and because we have that trust we're able to experience you know we really don't have where every couple in lifestyle has their boundaries and those are necessary ours are fairly limited which because of that and we're able to safely have very unlimited boundaries we can experience a lot of things that a lot of others probably can't in that arena mm. so can you mm. explain that a little bit more like you say safely like so what 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 constitutes like safely engaging like without kind of getting into some kind of um... putting ourselves into a corner that could create an argument yeah or something that might bother me or you know the biggest issue in that lifestyle is jealousy mm. where I am probably the least jealous man alive. And I think that's what it kind of allows a lot of this. And she has that as well. I, anything that could create jealousy. I, when I say I don't have that in my being, it's there somewhere. Mm-hmm. We don't want to find it though. It's, mm-hmm. I think jealousy too can be um, a good thing within a healthy marriage, and it can also be a bad thing within an unhealthy marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, depending on who you're married to, you know, and what kind of um, bond y'all have together. Yeah. So I think jealousy is a good thing to have, but there's no drama created off of it other than excitement. You know, that it's a it's a good jealousy. It's not like a, a bad jealousy. You know, so that make any sense. If Holly is always aware of something that could potentially make me jealous, she's going to avoid that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so never step into the gray areas. So because of our communication and understanding each other's minds so much, we're able to avoid that. I know what not to do to ever put her into a danger zone, and as does she with me. Mm-hmm. What What could she do to make you jealous, do you think? That's a damn good question, Holly. <laughs> you haven't figured that out yet? It, 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 it's a respect thing. Oh, we do have, um, like, I don't sleep over at any yeah. like, guy's house or bed. We have a no sleepover rule. When, whenever there's emotions. You want a guy to, like, wake up to, like, what he gets to wake up to. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> we keep some things sacred. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and that's one of them. I, you know, only I get to hear her fart in her sleep. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's for me, not for you. <laughs> Which, of course, doesn't actually. Oh, no. Because yeah, no. <laughs> no. she's oh, a perfect kidding. specimen. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, would never. <laughs> so, but there's, there's little tidbits like that. There's. I think the uh, when there's ever emotions involved, like th- this is just sex. That's it. Yeah. This is a physical thing, not a not an emotional scenario. So as long as we avoid any of that, I um, mean, there's things I can do with other women that will just piss Holly off, yeah. and there's things she can do that get me 
that can not piss me off, but get me into the jealous zone. Mm -hmm. And that's what we try to avoid. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.